Hey everyone, welcome to Lawyer Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to create a signed URL using a different key. By default, whenever we create a signed URL, Laravel uses the app key in order to sign that URL. Let me show you that in the .env file. You can see here app key. Laravel uses this key in order to sign the URLs. So here currently I am here in the laratips.test. Let me go to web.php in the home controller. Let me pass tree like this URL signed route inside here. Let me uncomment this. I have already created this and let me also write here tree like this. So we have this URL facade. Here you can see this. Here we have a signed route and we can pass the name of the route. The name is tree and let me show you that over here. Here is the name of the route which is tree and it is signed. Okay, I have used signed middleware. Currently you don't need to know about it but I'll let you know about it a little bit later. So here this is the URL. Okay, inside here we have this. So now let's see what this generates. So let me refresh here and you can see that it generates this URL with this signature like this. If we only used route, then it wouldn't generate this, but now it generates this. And if I click here, then it will take me to that URL and it is currently returning a tree of categories. And we have used here this signed middleware, which makes sure that the URL is valid. Suppose let's say we didn't pass this signature like this and hit enter then you can see here it will show us 403 invalid signature so it is very very useful so by default laravel uses this app underscore key the value of that environment key to sign this url and laravel also uses the same key for different purpose as well and it would be very nice if we could sign our url a route by using different key and i'll show you that method here now let me take you over here this url signed route it will take us to this okay this facade and it uses this url generator and inside here we have this signed route and you can see here this call user form it is calling this key resolver okay this will actually give us the key so currently let me just do dd over here like this and we know that we are calling that url signed route on the home so if i just go over here and refresh then you can see here that key this method will actually execute that method and return this which is if we see here in the .env file it is this value okay if we know how to override this then we will be able to change this key and we can write anything that we want so if i go over here like this if we just search it then you can see here set key resolver and it is a public function which means that laravel allows us to change this key for that we need to go in the app service provider we know that it is a facade so we can use a static method to set it so here i am using this url set key resolver and you can return any string from here let's say random like this okay and we are returning a closure from here, which is actually setting this. And if we go over here at the bottom, wherever we did this DD, then it will execute that function and return that value from the closure. So the value is random. So we'll get random over here. Let me come here and refresh. Then you can see here we are getting random, which means that Laravel will now use this string in order to sign that route. But we don't want our key to be available in our code itself so we'll use this so config app underscore route key i have created a new route underscore key in the app file so let me show you that this config slash app dot php i have added this route key and it is pointing to this environment variable and dot env i'll go here and i'll write random over here or let's say random two now let me refresh here and you can see that random two over here now let me remove that dd from here let me remove it from here and come here now you can see the sign url and if i click here then it is actually opening but if i try to just remove this from here if i remove it then it will actually use the value from the env variable app underscore env now if i come here and refresh then it will give me 403 valid signature so now we have successfully used our own key in order to sign the route but you definitely don't want to use this very unsecure key in your 
route key so for that you can generate key similar to this by using a command so i'll say here php artisan key generate and pass dash dash so and instead of generating a new this environment variable key let me just pull it down instead of replacing this it will actually show us over here now i can just copy this thing from here and add it over here and we have a very secure key now after this anytime you generate a signed route it will actually use this key instead of this